Hey everybody, you're watching Michigan Farmer 41 here. I'm Clyde, and today we are going to be reinstalling a wa automatic water drinker for these steers. Hi guys! Hey, so you guys are thirsty. It's a little, wind, it's a little windy over here. So these guys are using a water tank. Um, we've been filling it with like liquid, the liquid container toads over the winter, and um, well they just, they keep knocking it over. So we're tired of doing it. Um, there used to be a water drinker here. Um, we poured a new pad, and then um, really just didn't get back to installing it. So that one is going to go here, and. Um, that one was originally here, but then I think we tore it out to put the concrete pad. Anyway, it's going back here, and I'm actually, the way this is set up, I'm actually gonna leave the hose end on the line, and I'm gonna use like a washing machine hose to plumb into that, to plumb into that float. That way we could disconnect it and hook up something else if we need to get water somewhere else. Um, that's my logic. So, I am actually now gonna try to get the leaf blower to blow it out because it was in our sawdust bay. Um, we were also, I think, going to try to rewire it too. Um, but I'm going to just take this off for now because it is about summertime, and then I actually have a different idea for heating it this uh, winter, um, assuming we're still going to have steers there and stuff. But that board, right where that one is leaning against, that board will come out, and then they should be able to reach the water. So, yeah, nothing uh, to it, I guess. So we're going to blow it out, and then... Um, get her prepped to go back in. So, here we go. Okay, I did end up getting the drinker blown out. I've already taken care of the leaf blower. I've taken the float assembly apart. Um, so here, I guess here's the old hose. And then here is a piece of a uh, water hose, basically. It's the same size, so I'm just gonna use a washing machine hose, but the size is different. So we got a bigger high flow hose with the uh, female end on it. That way we could just screw it right onto the, the, the line. So I'm gonna get this all put back together, sit down and hook it up. And then I'm gonna have to make some brackets to mount it to the concrete. I don't know if I'm gonna do two brackets or four brackets. I'm thinking only two because there are not that many big animals, um, but we'll see. Okay, we're back in the shop where the fun lens was made, right? So, I have some of these concrete anchor wedge bolts, concrete wedge anchors, three eighths by three and three quarters, two of them. I think I'm gonna use a set of those to put it in. Um, so I'm gonna have to get a drill hole, of course, in the concrete, and then, ooh, I don't know if I have any concrete bits. Mmm. I'm gonna have to double check on that. Drilling the concrete, and then we're gonna have to make some brackets out of flat steel. I think I'm actually gonna get this metal. There we go. And cut some off, and then just have those little triangles, and then uh, we should be able just to just bolt it right up. So now I gotta find a drill bit, and then uh, we'll go from there. So here we go. Okay, I found a half inch concrete bit, and I also found some half inch um, concrete bolts, and then we have two brackets. I think two will be better than none. So I can't get it on that back on that back side. So hopefully this will uh, elevate the front. That's kind of why we have the extra length is so we can pick up the front a little bit. Now I'll quote that might get crap in there and underneath, but also the water needs to drain because there's no PVC pipe coming out of the bottom of the drain hole. So need a little bit of like gravity so it won't build up there. So I think this will work out great. I'm gonna go get my drill and we'll uh, start drilling. 
okay I did get some sort of brackets on this they're not great but it will work I just wanted something to prevent it basically from sliding off let me stand out of the wind the wind is terrible but yeah so now I'm gonna go turn on the water and uh, we'll see if we have the float set right so here we go All right, we now got this drinker filled up with water and I'm checking for leaks and then the float's not leaking in it and I'm not seeing any, not feeling any leaks around the fittings. So uh, I'm gonna put this cover back on. Now this cover is supposed to be red, but I actually had to steal this cover off of uh, one of my other drinkers because uh, it just goes on like that because for some reason this doesn't have a good cover so and i know this is a little flimsy if this breaks off i'm going to just put uh i'm either going to put like a grate on there or i'll put another piece of metal um but yeah so the steers like it and um it's a lot less work for me and chops so yeah so thank you for watching like and subscribe if you're new here and we will see you in the next one peace